Welcome to the JB Watercraft 11 foot T-Rex paddleboard build video series. Over the next few I'll be teaching you how you can build your own T-Rex paddleboard. These boards are made from plywood and can be built by anyone with basic DIY skills. They are very stable and easy to paddle and suitable for both beginners or experienced riders. The high buoyancy makes them suitable for larger riders as well. Full size cut templates make cutting the parts accurately an easy job. And we'll begin by outlining how to cut out these templates. Begin by unrolling your full size templates and laying them out on a smooth surface such as a floor or a workbench. Templates can be cut simply by using a sharp pair of scissors or a sharp craft knife. Personally I find scissors easier. Cut about 2-3 to three millimeters outside the edge of each panel. This will help when cutting, with the, cutting the plywood panels out with the jigsaw later and prevents them from peeling away. Before cutting out your paper templates, it's always a good idea to check the measurements that are printed on the templates first. Check these with a ruler just to make sure that the, that the templates have printed out the correct size. Full size templates can be downloaded from our website jbwatercraft.com Alternatively you can buy just the plans on their own and loft out your own templates from there. My website is linked in the description so please head over there for a look. You can see here that I am cutting the, the templates about 2 to 3 millimeters outside the lines. This will help later on when we're cutting the plywood panels out with a jigsaw and helps prevent the jigsaw blade from peeling the, the template away from the plywood. Please note that the board I am building here was an early prototype and some of the parts such as the bulkheads and the longitudinal bulkheads will look slightly different to what is on your plans. Once all the templates are cut out the next step is to glue them onto the plywood sheets using a spray adhesive. I like to use ADOS on and off restickable adhesive. Coat your templates liberally but evenly and try to avoid runs or bubbles or dirt getting stuck on the templates. The benefit of restickable adhesive is that it allows you to stick down and remove the template as many times as you need to get it just right. You don't want to get any air bubbles or wrinkles in the template once it's stuck down to the plywood. Line up the edges of the templates with the edges of the plywood as shown on the plans. Then begin sticking the template down from one end to the other, working out the air bubbles along the way. Having a second person to help you can be very useful here, however it's possible to do it on your own. Continue spraying and sticking the templates down onto the plywood sheets. Make sure you follow the panel layout shown on the plans. This will help make the most out of your plywood and help minimize wastage.
Once all the templates are stuck down, you can start cutting out the panels. It's best to cut straight away after, after sticking down the templates, as this is when the glue is at its best. If you wait too long, it can get stuck permanently to the plywood and be very difficult to remove later on. Cut out the panels using a jigsaw. Work slowly and accurately, cutting about 1mm outside the lines all the way around the panels. I highly recommend getting yourself a good quality jigsaw. Cheap ones like I'm using here tend to have blades that wander from side to side. This makes it very difficult to cut accurately and makes it very slow going. Once I bought myself a new jigsaw, I was able to work twice as fast. If any of the template edges start to peel away from the plywood, just spray a little bit of adhesive on them and stick them back down again. The next step is to trim down the edges of the plywood panel so that they line up with the edges of the paper templates. Use a small block plane or hand plane for this job. Ensure your plane is sharp and use long strokes in one direction for the best results. Use the same technique to trim the larger panels. Once trimmed, come back and finish off the edges by sanding with a 80 to 100 grit sandpaper. That's it for this video, but stay tuned next time. In my next video we'll be cutting weight reduction holes and starting to join some of the panels together. Thanks for watching, please remember to like and subscribe down below. Also if you haven't already, head over to my website jbwatercraft.com where you will find plans for this project along with many others. Thank you and see you next time.